You condemn with your prophet Muhammad. Why? Why are you such hypocrites? Yeah. That's my question. Yeah, absolutely. Oh no, you're so. famous. You're famous now. <laughs> So, I have so far given you three examples of Islamic hypocrisy. Here's another example of Islamic hypocrisy. How is it that you're so uh, condemning of the West for having premarital sex and relationships, girlfriends and so on? You say that this is fahisha, that this is lewdness. Oh, is it? This is lewdness, yes? They say, they quote, and yet, the Quran says that you can have sex with as many sex slaves as you want. That's why I'm a Muslim. Yes. That's why I'm a Muslim. The Quran. <laughs> well, first I'll show them this. So, in the Quran it says, certainly the believers will have succeeded in chapter 23, verses 1 to 6. Certainly the believers will have succeeded those who, pr during their prayer, are humbly submissive, they who turn away from ill speech, they who are observant of the zakah, and they who guard their private parts, except from their wives, or those their right hands possess, for indeed they will not be blamed. So they, this is telling Muslims is that, that they are allowed is to have true? sex with sex slaves, okay? So how is it that you condemn, here is what you're doing, you're condemning Western society for, you're condemning Western society for having sexual relationships with adult women who can consent freely and are free women who can freely choose and men who can freely choose to have sex. Oh, that's good. And yet, I am a Muslim. and yet, this guy is saying he's a Muslim because he agrees with Islam no, no, saying that you can have sex out. slaves. No, because you don't pay bad. No, no, right. So, right. they're, they're okay with sex slaves, yeah. but they're not uh, okay with premarital consensual sex. Hypocrisy. This is Islamic hypocrisy. Yes, that's why I'm a Muslim. Islamic hypocrisy. <laughs> yeah, they're not even uh, listening. Well, ask people why they go to and, and some people say, oh, the by the way, some people say that Islamic slavery is not like Western slavery. Some people say that Islamic slavery is not like Western slavery. And yet, and yet, Muhammad bought and sold slaves, just like Western slave owners. Narrated Jabir ibn Abdullah, this is one of Muhammad's own friends from Sahih al-Bukhari, he said, that a man decided to sell that on, that a man decided that he would free his slave after his death yeah. and later on he was in need of money so the prophet took the slave and said who will buy this slave from me wow, that was this is from Sahih al-Bukhari yeah. so in Islam you're allowed to buy and sell slaves and you're allowed to have sex with those slaves yes so yeah so I want to ask, how can you live with you this Islamic man, hypocrisy? Oh, how is, I'm a debating with Islam. I am showing that Islam allows sex slavery. You don't uh, marriage, when marriage, when marriage, yeah? No, no. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Some Muslims say that the slaves in Islam are well treated, and yet listen to how, listen to how slaves were treated. Whenever Ibn Umar wanted to buy a slave girl, he would inspect her by analyzing her legs and placing his hands between her breasts and on her buttocks, like if he was putting it behind her clothes. This is from Kanzat al Umar, Sunan al Kubra, Volume 5, page 329. So this is how the Muslims treated their slaves. They would grab their breasts and grab their buttocks when they were buying them. They treated them like cattle. This is the Islamic hypocrisy. They will say that if two people freely decide to enter a sexual relationship, that this is lewdness and fahisha. And yet, uh, abusing slaves is not fahisha. This is halal. This is halal to have sexual slaves in Islam. Does that make sense? Is this not hypocrisy? So, 
Now, let's look at another example of Islamic hypocrisy. I've heard a lot of Muslims condemning the new movie Cuties, the Netflix movie about dancing uh, French girls. Yes, they condemn it for uh, girls dancing in these sexual ways. They, they, they dance like uh, strippers, basically, like, uh, like they're at a strip club. And this is a, a lewd thing. This is a, a disgrace. It is abusing children to teach them to dance this way. So rightly, Muslims condemn this. And yet, they are so hypocritical when they condemn children dancing sexually, but they will not condemn grown men having sex with children. How does that make sense when you say that children, children are allowed, they say that it is bad for children to dance sexually, but it is okay for adults to have sex with children. In, in the Quran, it says that a man can divorce his prepubescent bride. Yes. We will show it. So, in the Quran, chapter 55, verse, sorry, chapter 65, verse 4, it says, And those who no longer expect menstruation from among your women, if you doubt, then their period is three months, and also those who have not menstruated. And for those who are pregnant, their term is until they give birth. And whoever fears Allah, he will make of him his matters and ease. No, no, so, the, the so this is, is this is saying that you can divorce prepubescent girls. Those who have not had their periods yet, you can divorce them. Why can you divorce girls who have not yet had their periods? Because you can marry those who have not yet had their periods. Yes, yes. And so, and so, listen, and some people, by the way, they say, oh no, this is talking about women who have not yet had their period. But this is false, because, listen to this, listen to this. Ibn Abi Hatim reported from Ubay bin Kab, who said, Allah's messenger, when the ayah in Surat al-Baqarah was revealed, prescribing the waiting period of divorce, some people in Medina said there are some women whose idda has not been mentioned in the Quran. They are the young, the old, and those whose menstruation is discontinued and the pregnant. So this is so this is proving this is proving the young are the women who you can divorce. So you can you can divorce pre those who are so. No, yes, no, it's right. It's right because this, this, no, it's right. Listen, in, in chapter, in Surat al-Baqarah, in Surat al-Baqarah, it says that you can divorce women and their, their divorce waiting period will be free uh, menstrual cycles, okay? So, if you say that their divorce period is free menstrual cycles, then someone comes to Muhammad and says, uh, you have not mentioned three types of women. Those who are too old, those who are too young, and those who are pregnant. And so this is confirming that the later verse in the Quran saying that you can divorce those who have not yet had their periods is referring to the young. So, and, and further proof of this is the fact that Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old. So, yes. So how is it, how can you be so hypocritical that you condemn the movie Cuties where girls dance and yet you're okay with girls younger than that having sex with adult men? How can you live with this hypocrisy? This is clear Islamic hypocrisy. Let us prove that Muhammad had sex with a nine years old child. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari, narrated Aisha that the Prophet married her when she was six years old and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. Okay, so how is it that the Muslims have a problem with little girls dancing like in the movie Cuties and yet they're okay with adults having sex with nine-year-old men? This is Islamic hypocrisy. So, so, the next piece of Islamic hypocrisy. How is it, how is it that Muslims say 
that, oh, why is it that the Murtad, that the ex-Muslim, is so obsessed with Islam? Have you not heard this? They ask, why do the ex-Muslims keep on talking about Islam if they have left Islam? Why is it that the ex-Muslims are so I will debate you after I finish my talk. So, so, why is it that the Muslims complain about ex-Muslims who criticize Islam? And yet, they say that ex-Muslims should be killed if they leave Islam. Is this not Islamic hypocrisy? How can you say that I am going to kill you if you leave Islam and at the same time say to them, oh, why are you so obsessed with Islam now that you've left it? Why are you still complaining about Islam? This is Islamic hypocrisy. No, I'm guessing words for Muhammad because Muhammad said, whoever changed his Islamic religion, then kill him. So this is Islamic hypocrisy. So I want the Muslims to think about themselves. How, how can I live with this hypocrisy? How, why, why is it? How can, I, how can I follow such a hypocritical belief system? Yeah, yeah, well, how am I hypocritical? How am I hypocritical? So she is saying that Muslims are not in favor of child marriage. So why is it? Is, <laughs> listen, you're defending, you're defending having sex with a nine-year-old, aren't you? What are you saying? Yeah. So then, then you should agree with me because Muhammad said that you should have sex with nine years old. Listen to this. Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old. What's up? Do you condemn? Do you condemn Muhammad having sex with a nine-year-old? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Here is the proof. Here is the proof. The proof is that Muhammad married me when I was six and had sex from uh, nine. Because I'm reading it from your Muslim sources. I am reading it from your Muslim sources. Yes, Muhammad the pedophile. Muhammad, who had sex with a nine-year-old. Listen to this. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of wedlock, narrated Aisha that the prophet married me when I was six and he consummated his mar the marriage when I was nine years old. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari, 5133. And so she was saying that I was being hypocritical, but I am telling the truth when Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old. So how is it that Muslims, they condemn the movie Cuties, which shows six-year-old, uh, it shows girls dancing in a sexual way. And yet, so they say that it is wrong for girls to dance in a sexual way. And yet they think it is okay for Muhammad to have sex with a nine-year-old. So, listen to this. So listen to this. It says, regarding the man who buys a prepubescent slave girl, even one younger than that, he said, there is nothing wrong with touching her before observing her waiting period. The waiting period here is the istibra, the amount of period you have to wait after buying a slave before you may have sex with her. So this is saying that in Islamic law, you can have sex with prepubescent slave girls. So that, how can you deal with this Islamic hypocrisy? You condemn the movie Cuties, which shows, pre, it shows prepubescent girls dancing in a sexual way, and yet Islam is allows buying prepubescent slave girls and having sex with them. Is this not Islamic hypocrisy? I, I want the Muslims to think about how they can uh, consider themselves to be followers of such a hypocritical ideology. Like, how can you live with this hypocrisy? Okay, so, I, 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 so uh, yeah, th these were the three examples we've brought. To summarize, the Muslims, they hate ISIS, and yet they, they worship and they love Muhammad, who behaved like ISIS, by taking Yazidi sex slaves the same way that 
Muhammad and his companions took Arab polyfaced women as sex slaves. So this is one example of Islamic hypocrisy. The second example of Islamic hypocrisy is that they, they love Muhammad and yet they hate ISIS and they hate ISIS for spreading war in order to spread Islam but they love Muhammad who did exactly the same thing. He waged war on people who had never attacked the Muslims simply in order to spread Islam. Perfect. The final example, uh, another example of Islamic hypocrisy is that they hate it when people mock their religion and yet they uh, praise Muhammad who destroyed the religious idols of other religions. They say, oh, mashallah, like uh, the, the truth has, made, been, has arrived and falsehood has disappeared when Muhammad destroyed the idols of the polytheist worshippers. So, finally, they uh, condemn, um, they condemn, uh, kind of, uh, they condemn liberal soci society for, um, they condemn liberal society for being allowed to have girlfriends and uh, have uh, free sexual relationships with people, and yet they say that this is fahisha, this is lewdness, and yet they're okay with Islam promoting sexual slavery, actually buying slaves and having sex with them, like their, Islam, their, their religion says you can do. And they condemn the movie Cuties, which, is Lao's, uh, which shows children uh, dancing in a sexual manner. They say that children dancing in a sexual manner is fahisha, it is lewdness, it is immoral, and yet they're okay with children doing more than dancing, they're okay with children having sex with adults. They're okay with their own prophet having sex with a nine-year-old. And they complain when ex-Muslims leave Islam and complain about Islam, and yet their religion says that if a Muslim leaves Islam, he should be killed. So how can you complain about someone uh, criticizing Islam when they leave Islam, but you'll kill them if they leave Islam according to your religion? This is Islamic hypocrisy. So these are five or six examples of clear, um, appalling Islamic hypocrisy. Anyway, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you.